Named as Asia's best tropical island by CNN.com in 2013, the Anambas Islands are indeed a tropical paradise. It is located in the South China Sea. The Anambas are among Indonesia's northernmost border archipelagos. It faces the wide open ocean, providing a panoramic view of blue sea and green islands dotted with azure lagoons. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> heavenly. Sadly, however, the legacy of unsustainable and unregulated fishing practices by local fishermen and the industrial fishing vessels Poor solid waste management, marine debris, and deforestation are still visible in this area. That is why, found in 2018, Anambas Foundation is here trying to improve the overall ecosystem of the Anambas. And to learn more about this, we have here with us in the studio, head of Anambas Foundation, Marcelinus Jerry Venata. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> yeah, good morning, Sasha and Hans. Hi. Yes. This Thanks is coming. very, very exciting. So what is Anambas Foundation trying to do, and what is the goal? Yes, so the Anambas Foundation is an Indonesian foundation. Mm. And what we're trying to do, we work in three major pillars, yeah. which is above, below, and beyond. Mm -mm. Above is forest conservation, Below is marine conservation, beyond is community development. Mm. And the reason we do that is because we have to look at um, the whole place in a landscape manner. Mm -hmm. yes. So we can't just do one without the other if it's affecting the other. Everything we do above land yeah. will indeed affect everything in a marine life as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why we can't do one without the other. Indeed. Mm. So when, when it was founded in mm. 2018, what happened exactly that made you and your team decide, okay, this is, this is not sustainable, we have to change this, we have to change the whole yeah. ecosystem. Right, so um, back in 2018, there's already a luxury sustainable uh, resort that mm. tried to push sustainable tourism in, in Indonesia yes. called Bawa Reserve. Yes. Mm. Um, and we were invited over by the owner of Bawa Reserve mm. and he really wanted to broaden the impact mm. they have done around the resort. Right. So I ended up living from villages to villages for about two, three months. Mm -hmm. okay. um, literally just want to know how they live. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Want to know um, what it is that we can do to help or what it is they need. Mm -hmm. And it's become apparent that waste is one of the major issues mm. um, in the area. I mean, again, you see from the photos and the videos, it's gorgeous yes but again when i got to one of the villages in anamba it's called kiabu yeah. mm -hmm. from the outside it was amazing and then as soon as i arrived at the jetty mm -hmm. as i was walking down looking at this beautiful sort of beach i was looking down i kid you not i don't exaggerate mm -hmm. i see a washing machine what in the water <laughs> in the water like standing fan wow. bicycle um, so and no one in the village see anything wrong with that, right. okay, and because you. that's just the way it has been. Yeah. Right. And to be fair, like they have not changed their behavior for generations. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. For generations, you know, they throw the stuff on the oceans all the yeah. time. Wow. Yes, exactly. But at the time. Mm -hmm. Food was wrapped in banana leaves. Yes. Yeah. Food was wrapped, you know, things are wrapped in biodegradable yeah. materials. Yeah. So the world has changed. Mm -mm. Yeah. Now it came in plastics. Mm -mm. Now it came with like, you know, different materials. Yeah. The world has changed, but they haven't. Mm. Yeah. So that's why I think that's what triggered us in the Anamas Foundation is like, well, we need to bring yeah. them because they don't know what they don't know. So I think waste management is one of the major things that we are doing in Anamas yeah. Foundation. But one of the challenges I bet it's um, how you approach mm -hmm. uh, the locals. So how do you how do you do that um, until now from 2018 until 2023? Yeah, as uh, I'm, I'm originally from Bandung, living okay. in Jakarta. You know, as a, as a Bandung boy from <laughs> Jakarta coming to Anambas, I'm like, what are you doing here? Um, I think trust is such a major issue. Yeah. And then, um, the time I spent living with the villagers for months, mm. that was crucial. Mm. And um, my purpose when I was living there is not to tell them what to do mm. or to teach them how to do things, none of that. Mm. Literally for three months, all I did was just listen and chat mm. and really understanding what it is they need, what it is they want. I think more than what they need is like what they as what are their aspirations, mm. what it is they want to achieve. So from that, 
I think that really solidified the trust that we have. Yeah. Mm. So when the foundation came with our programs, before I presented it to the donors or to my boss even, mm. I presented it to the community. Yeah, okay. of course. They need to know what we're doing yeah. and they need to want what we're doing. Mm. Okay. Because at the end of the day, we just facilitate. Yeah. Yeah. They are the one who's actually doing the hard work. Yeah. So yeah, what, we were, what were their response? Well, they were quite... Um, first of all, they were very welcoming. Okay. Because, and actually, no, they were shocked. In the beginning? In the beginning. <laughs> no, because I, I have about pro probably 40 very burly, rough fishermen <laughs> right? um, in the one room. And say, what do you want? And they're like, who are you and what are you doing here? Um, but no, and then I start explaining about the things that we want to do. Obviously, in addition to... Um, in addition to waste management, as you know, Anambas, 90% of Anambas rely heavily on the ocean. Mm. Yes. So what we're trying to bring in is also alternative mm. livelihood. Yeah. So the ocean can have a bit of a break. Mm. Now, what is the livelihood? What's so, for example, like organic farming, oh, you know, things like that. So we're bringing in that to the table. Mm. Mm. Try to explain 40 burly fishermen <laughs> not to fish, but to farm. Uh, like that is not. That's, that's a challenge. <laughs> that's How a did challenge. You convince them? No, but it was amazing what they. I was literally. I was a bit scared because the room fell silent after I presented this idea. Okay. I was like, where is the nearest exit? Like, <laughs> just in case anything happened. But no. Um, finally, somebody raised their hand, and then what came out is like, but Jerry, I'm sorry that we don't know what to say. Yeah. Because. We don't know what to say. <laughs> no one has ever come and asked us Aww. what we want mm. right. or if this is something we need. Mm -mm. Normally, somebody from Jakarta come in, yeah. something happened, whether we want it or not. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that sort of like um, inclusive um, effort in the mm. beginning mm. make a huge difference. Mm. Mm. All it takes is just talk to them yeah. and just ask them. They know what they need. They know what yeah. they want better Absolutely. than somebody from Jakarta. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah, that, that's kind of like how we started. And we keep implementing that approach throughout. Four years in, and we still, we're still uh, doing the same approach as right. we did. Yeah. So what is the waste management system that you've implemented and that is working so well? Right. Um, obviously, education is a, such an important part, mm -hmm. uh, but that is a part is not the whole thing. Yeah. I think um, even if, oh, just to clarify a little bit, the waste management that we are implementing mm -hmm. is very specific, specifically mm -hmm. for small island communities. Interesting, we can replicate that. Correct, actually. because there's so many amazing innovations and solutions yeah. out there mm -hmm. that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But they're all catered for big islands like Bali, oh. yeah. like Phuket, Java. yeah, or urban setting yes, like Jakarta, yes. Surabaya. Yeah. Yeah. No one, I mean, we did hundreds of hours of desk research and we couldn't find anything that's appropriate mm. for small island communities. Mm. Mm. So how do you do it in small islands? So we, tr we are start from zero, mm. trials and errors. And then what we found out is that education is important, but it's nowhere enough. Yeah. Because in places like that, even if you do 100% right, mm -mm. you do separation, you do collection, you mm. do it properly, yeah, yeah. with one thunderstorm, yeah. everything goes back to the ocean. Yeah. yeah. That's true. yeah. So what we did is like in addition to education, we, uh, we actually construct a waste management facility. Oh, nice. And everything is run by the community, mm -hmm. where we also implement our waste bank um, oh, initiative. So. The goal is to basically change the behavior of people in an ambush to its waste. Yes. They, they don't see, four years in, um, maybe even like two years in, yeah. I'll go back to the same village, yeah. no more. Because people now yeah. are fighting for this waste in the water because yeah. now they have value. Yeah. So it's of course. so the exchange is money, not uh, other things. Say it again. So the when they collect mm -hmm. uh, waste, yeah. do they get money? Correct. Or? Yeah. So basically, we we trying to um, create the self-sustaining 
bis business model yeah, at yeah, the end, it is, it is. where they were selling the waste from us, mm -hmm. but uh, they need to be able to separate the waste properly because it's not just plastic that we receive. Yeah. We receive a, an array of options of waste. Yes. They have to be able to separate properly, clean it properly, then only they can sell it to us, mm -hmm. where we work with larger collectors mm. that we can sell this waste as well. Right. Um, so I can invite you over to our numbers oh, and you can <laughs> knock on there. any door, yeah. any door in the village. Uh, I, I, I bet my left ear. <laughs> you can just knock on any door and yeah. you'll, you come in and you will see how amazing they have separate all the ways. Really? At the household level. Wow, that's what we need in Jakarta. <laughs> Jakartas don't do that. I because, would admit that yeah. we have do to that. do that. Have yeah, to. so yeah. that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to just clean up the mm. beach. Mm. We're mm. not just trying to clean up. We're trying to change the behaviors all the way from the household level mm. because that's how we change the generation. Because otherwise, we just if we're just cleaning up the stuff, but we're not actually turning the tap of where the yeah. waste came yeah. from, which is household. So yeah. it'll be very, it's an uphill battle. It will never stop yeah. that. Maybe you can elaborate more on the home waste management. What, mm -hmm. what were they doing with the home waste? So it's a very simple thing. So basically what we do is that we separate the waste based on types. Mm -hmm. For example, you, everyone here is familiar with a mineral water bottle, yes. whatever brand that is. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, in one bottle that has three different types of plastic. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So they need to know the differences between each plastic. Okay. So we train them. Like, this is different, this is different. I mean, the cap, the bottle, the and cap, the label. The cap, the ring, yeah. Yeah. the label, yeah. and the bottle itself. Yeah, yeah. So at home, they already know about that. So they clean it up, they already separate the waste. Um, the kental manis is a very popular thing. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Condensed, condensed milk, milk is a very milk. popular thing. Yeah. So obviously there's a tin, there's a paper, yeah. and they know how to separate those, they know how oh, to clean it. Okay. So they all have all this sort of like very simple mm. um, separation system yeah. um, at home. Yeah. So wow. when they bring it to the waste bank, everything's already separate, it's really clean. So yeah, oh. but more than that, I mean the money is, the money is precious for them, yeah. right? Probably for many of us, it's minuscule, oh, but it's the changing in behavior yeah. that is priceless. Yeah, that is the challenge. Yeah, that is a challenge. Yeah. And four years um, to four, the foundation is founded in 2018, so we are about to enter our fifth year. Yeah. Um, and it's such a short amount of time yeah. to change one's behavior. But you've Earth. actually changed the behavior of four villages out of how many villages? At the moment, the we're working in four villages. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been very fortunate. There's a lot of people who believe in what we're doing. Yeah. So we have been getting a lot of support from private sector partners. That's great. And yeah, and uh, wow. by 2021, we're committed to expand our program in 21 villages. In 21 wow. villages? Yeah, That's from exciting. two. Wow. Like we start the pilot in two villages. Wow. Last year we expanded to two more, so four villages in total. <laughs> this year we are adding another 12. Right. Wow. So we are expanding quite rapidly. <laughs> okay, uh, if they yeah. can change there, we have to change here also, oh, right? right? <laughs> we have to do it now. I know, probably we need to live in a small island. <laughs> uh, by the way, aside from the waste management yeah. program uh, that you're sharing with the community and the community is really feeling a positive <laughs> impact on their life, uh, you also have a women's empowerment Correct. Uh, yes. program. So what is that? So um, we noticed that a lot of these um, women, actually this has come from them. Yeah, yeah. All these ideas came from them. Mm -hmm. They were like um, looking at stuff like, Bajiri, what can you do for us? Like, help us. <laughs> like, Good. oh, sure. Like, what do you want to do? It's like, yeah. well, you know, we have a lot of time on our hand. Yeah. You know, in the, especially when our husbands go fishing, our school, our children's school. It's yeah. like, I want to do something more, you know, more with my hands. Yeah. Okay. So we started to give them a bit of training on, um, on uh, sewing, sewing, sewing machine and stuff like that. Okay. Some of them already have a basic skill. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to do this um, circular economy. So Lovely. on waste, also we have a lot of cotton. Mm. We have a lot of uh, uh, fabric, yeah. waste, right? And cotton is the second biggest polluter yeah. uh, for greenhouse gas emission. Mm -hmm. 
So what we started to do is that we started to ask them to make bags, mm. oh. reusable bags, mm. that we, the foundation, purchase, uh, we buy back immediately. Yeah. Really? So they have an instant cash. Yeah. So what are we doing with the bag? So what we're doing with the bag is that we work with kiosk, mm -hmm. with warung, because mm -hmm. there's a few number of warungs. Yeah. Like, listen, book, I'm going to leave 10 bags here. Yeah. For you. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the next time you have uh, uh, somebody who's buying from you, yeah. please use don't, the use the, don't, you, don't use the plastic bag. Just yeah. use this. Yeah. Lend it to nice. them. You don't have to sell it. Yeah. Because it's such a small village, yeah. if they don't return it, you can like knock on their house and like, hey, Everybody where's my bag? Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. <laughs> but, so there is this rotating thing that we That's do. Great. But we also created, ask these uh, um, women to create a much larger bag as well. Mm. And mm. then we start putting them into the customer or the uh, of our waste bank. Mm. So if you coming to us to sell your waste as part of the waste bank, so you have an account with us, yeah. we'll give you this bag. Aww. So next time you can just put it in the bag and like give it to us, and um, and then there's a rotation going on. That's great. That's nice. That's lovely. Yeah. So what are your um, plan for the future? What mission are you um, planning to achieve? Yeah. So obviously. Um, 21 village by 2025 is a massive undertaking, yeah. especially for a small, we are a tiny, tiny foundation, and we're a young, young foundation as well. Yes, big ambitions, big aspiration, big yeah. dreams. Why not? Uh, why not? <laughs> um, so we're focusing on that, uh, but of course, in addition to that, we want to propel, or at least to be the catalyst, mm -hmm. and um, promote sustainable tourism. Mm. in Indonesia. Yes, we already have this beautiful, gorgeous resort called Bawa Reserve mm -hmm. as a partner. Mm -hmm. And this, we can show you some example yeah. of how a, pub, a private sector, a non-profit um, non like us, plus the government engagement mm -hmm. can actually propel sustainable tourism in Indonesia. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, Indonesia is prime for that. Yeah, yeah oh, totally. We, are, we have so many yeah. small islands. We have so, so many. many. Yeah. And again, we've seen the, Im the destructive impact yeah. of mass tourism. Yeah, of course. So what it's we're solid. trying to do is like we're trying to showcase that it doesn't, we don't have to rely on mass tourism. Yeah. We, Indonesia is, is prime we can be the leader in sustainable yeah. tourism yeah, yeah so i think that's also one of the one of the things that the foundation would like to work on mm -hmm. as well because we've been given like this is my office by the way <laughs> like yes it's a welcome nice to my office, office. it's like, a very nice <laughs> office do you have any <laughs> any specific region that you're eyeing right now uh, at the moment we're still focusing on a number so there's a lot to be done yeah. like i said also like Four years, guys. Like yeah. we're young. We're just starting to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we we really want. Yes. To, but the sort of like the longer term ambition yes. is we want to have this blueprint yeah. on how can we bring this to other islands. Yeah. The lessons that we've learned, mm -hmm. the successes that we've had, but more importantly, the failure. Yeah. that we have experienced, so we don't have to replicate that. Yeah. Yeah. So we really want to create this blueprint and really try to share it with like other places in Indonesia and maybe the world. Can you imagine? Yeah, There's so many islands. small island communities yeah. around the globe. Absolutely, that'd be yeah. great. Well, if you are interested in knowing more about the Anambas Foundation, you can uh, log in and you can uh, find it on the uh, anambasfoundation.org. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much Jerry. Thank, Thank you so much, Shana. Thank you so much, Marissa. What a, an awesome opportunity. <laughs> yes, and we will make sure we'll visit. Visit me in my office. office. Yeah, <laughs> please Your step office. into my office. <laughs> All right.